Um, so reviews, man. Yeah. Yeah, shut shut up. You shut your filthy mouth. <laughs> but you know, you, you kinda know what happened because you played the game, right? But do you remember the game because you know you're a casual? I remember the ver- I remember the end at least. You remember the end? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's word yeah. for word, bar for bar. Yeah, yeah word for word, bar Stop for bar. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh the season finale of Last of Us. Um I want to skip to the end. Uh-huh. The end? In the ending part, because I just wanted to ask a question. Ask okay. away. Did you guys ever agree with Joel's decision to save Ellie? Uh, uh in, the, in the grand scheme of things, no, no. but I understand. No. That's a- Do you think that was his downfall? Like, how wow. Joel started, where it was like, I'm all about the mission, I'm cold-hearted, I don't care about anyone, I lost everybody I love, it's cool. And then he starts to care about someone, and then he makes a somewhat irrational decision saving Ellie. I mean, where you could have said you could have saved the entire world possibly, but you sacrifice it for one person. I mean, tech. I mean, if you want to be honest, like in spoilers for the, the name the of the s- episode is holes. <laughs> <laughs> My holes. <laughs> or I can't believe it. <laughs> um, it was good, Pope. Spoiler for the, the the second game, but like, yeah, literally was his downfall, right? As far as I'm aware, I didn't play the second game. As far as I'm aware, is. I don't because completely. because of what he did in the hospital, and I'm not sure how they're related. Yeah, I don't know how they're related, I think, but I know. But yeah. the doctor, I think Abby is related to, or was I don't know if his daughter or something, yeah. something or whatever. But because he killed the doctor in the hospital, mm. she comes after him and kills him. Yeah, right? mm. isn't yeah. that like literally what happened? So I like, didn't get that far. So maybe that's what happened. Oh but yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, mm. so like so we he, don't know why she was that vengeful, but it was something like you killed somebody that I loved and yeah. knew, and mm. we didn't. I, I never found out who. Yeah, I'm pretty but. sure it was the doctor. Probably. Yeah, because like you, because like even in the game, like you have to kill the doctor. Doctor's yeah. Abby's dad. Yeah, Doctor's Abby's dad. Okay, okay. yeah. So I, shank. So I can't let you do this. Yeah. No, nah, but like even in the game, like no, nah, he shot that nigga squaw. Yeah, yeah, they pointed the gun up, and like because I didn't watch the episode, but in the game, it was like you have to shoot him. Like you yeah, can't he even. He still like, picked up a shank though in the game because the nigga came in through the door a with a gun. I know. I know. Yeah, but after he murdered forty five niggas in armor, <laughs> they had to go. <laughs> Headshot, leg shot. I do think everything dead. I do think <laughs> that the action sequence with him shooting shouldn't have been dramatic. It should have been a little more action packed. Yeah, it was like. It kind of like, muffled. It was like slow mo. Yeah, kind of muffled. I so, did like the point where he was picking up a lot of guns, where it was like they didn't just have him shooting one yeah, gun throughout the way. entire thing. Like, oh no, I am. ran out of ammo. Yeah, oh, like I'm living ammo type like. shit. Where it's like, <laughs> where it's like you got a revolver, but it's like 18 shots in this bitch. <laughs> yeah. and like you, how you just not reload at, at all. So he was going. So he, as he was killing people, you know, he like, he, he felt. Mine, I need this. Yeah, dude. he was like, yeah, he was just picking up guns. So I think. As he was going, like the guns got bigger and smaller and shit. So one he had like an assault rifle, mm-hmm. then he had like a, a SMG, and then he had like a pistol or some yeah. shit. Then he had like like some big as fuck. He was just shooting niggas from across the hall. Yeah. And then when he got to the operating room, he finally had the the pistol. And then Ellie was on the operating table. They, they was getting ready to cut her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh, he was like, "Yo, unhook her." And Joe wasn't having none of that. She was like, "I'm not gonna say this again." So he shot the doctor. He was like, "I can't do that." Bang. Dead. Unhook her. <laughs> and, and they unhooked it. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, you know, Joe carries her out. They go to the parking garage. Um, how he knows to go to the parking garage, I don't know. But he just mm-hmm. goes to the bottom floor. He doesn't know that there's a car down there, but he goes down there, there's a car down there on like a battery or something like that. And then uh Marlene is down there, and then they had that confrontation, and then Joe just winds up killing her, like, no, you're not gonna kill this 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 child, my child essentially. And then they just ride off into the sunset. They just go back to where uh, Tommy is and yeah, his village. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't. How in the grand scheme of things, I would say Joe made the right decision for him. Yeah. When it comes to the right decision for like and him humanity. and only him. Yeah, mm-hmm. him and only him. Because he because uh, and and both sides of this, nobody gave. Uh, Ellie a choice mm-hmm. like the Fireflies didn't tell Ellie what, that they were gonna kill her mm-hmm. she didn't know mm-hmm. and and when she asked him he lied to her like so no one so they kinda took the choice both sides took the choice out of her hand it was he took the choice uh, to save her life and they mm-hmm. took the choice to take her life without informing her what was gonna happen so she didn't even get to say what she would want to do yeah like she might have been like it's worth me dying to save the rest of the world she, she kinda, might have, well, well she kinda said she kinda, that, she kinda said that in the episode where it was like it seemed like she was ready to go. 
seemed like she was tired of all this shit. She was tired of all the killing. She was tired of losing people. And she was like, you never let me make that choice. And it, seem, it seems like the choice she was leaning towards was, I'm cool with going if it helps out everybody, everybody else. else. Yeah. Because I care about you that much that if it helps you survive or it helps the rest of humanity, cool. Yeah. Um, We find out where Ellie gets her, her immunity from. From Ellie? Nah. Nah. Yeah, from Ellie. No. Mm, yes. You got to watch the episode. Mm. She got it from Ellie. Mm-mm. Where Ellie gets her immunity from? You, you, know yeah. what he, you know what he means. Yeah. The okay. voice the, 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 yeah. the voice actor. Yeah. 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 The mom. Don't confuse so, so me. So she Blade now. I've been drinking. Don't confuse me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she Blade. She Blade. Now. She, yeah, she, blade. she, she <laughs> day walker. Yeah, <laughs> she got damn Blade. She but a yeah. mushroom walker. Yeah. My, yeah. <laughs> so so Ellie's mom gets bit while giving birth. But that's a girl from um, uh, Grown Base. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So Ellie's mom gets bit while she's giving birth, and that grants Ellie immunity. I guess it's ha- it travels through the uh, Umbilical. umbilical cord. And, uh, yeah, she cuts the umbilical cord, and even though uh, she's bit, it doesn't turn Ellie. You know, even though that same monster juice is flowing through her veins. Cool. You know. Whatever. Stem cells. Stem, yeah, stem cells and all that shit. <laughs> um, Marlene and Ellie's mother are best friends, and they've been knowing each other since they was kids, mm-hmm. and they've been traveling with each other. And then um, Marlene w- winds up shooting her, taking a baby, raising Ellie to what she is when we see her in, like, the first episode. Um, what else happens? I mean, that's really it. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Really it, was, it. it was, like, the hospital yeah. scene and then where Ellie got her immunity from. So I guess, like, the, the creators of the game are, you know, patching up certain things where it was, like, we don't know how Ellie actually came to be and why she's immune. Mm. So they they just putting, like, little nuggets out there, little Easter eggs and shit. So it was, like, hey, this is why she's X, Y, Z. Um... Uh, nothing else really happened. Um, Ellie doesn't believe Joel when, so basically Ellie woke up out her sedation in a truck. She was like, I was on the operating table. What the fuck happened? <laughs> and then she wakes up in the car and Joel tells her like, oh, the shit got ambushed and I had to kill a bunch of people and I had to get you out of there. Not knowing that Joel was just like, I'm not letting you die. And I killed everybody that was in the hospital. Doctors included. Like we needed them niggas. <laughs> and then, um. Ellie just has a bad feeling. And then she asks Joe, tell me everything that you said about the hospital is real. And Joe says, I swear. And like, she just, okay, I got to take you at your word because I don't know nothing else. And we fucking millions of miles away. So I can't fact check. Yeah, I mean, that's like what happens in the game too. It's sort of left to interpretation to whether or not you feel like she believes them or not. Right. Uh, I think the way she they said that she played it, it, it sort of seems like she didn't, She's like, all right, I, I love you, so I'm yeah. gonna just believe you, and exactly. then kind of, and then kind of leaves it be for the, but it's still a lingering doubt. Yeah, um, like you know something happened, but it's it's not happening exactly the way you said. Mm. But because I love you, I'm gonna just take your word for it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know exactly who said it, but I don't know if it was the creators or like the writers of HBO, but they said that they don't plan on replacing Ellie unless she actually wants to leave. Mm-hmm. Um, because, you know, everybody had that same, like, you know, can this woman carry a show by herself? Because we know what happens with, with Joel. Um, I, I and think it, so. And they also said they're going to split part two of the game into two seasons. Mm-hmm. So that's the thing. Um, other than that, they trying to, well, the, the fans are trying to cast who Abby's going to be. Yeah. Um, other than that, I don't really know nothing. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's really much it. Yeah, you know, it kind of followed the game line for line, bar for bar. Yeah. yeah. So. With um, a little bit of changes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah. Little when it was subtle necessary. things. So as a whole, what are your thoughts on the season? Great season. I would give it like a 8.59. Same here. Yeah. 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 Um, not perfect, season. but it's really good. It's not yeah, not perfect, but it's really and good. And obviously, it's an adaptation of a video game, so mm-hmm. those is always a gamble, and they yeah. fucking pulled it off. Yeah, to to to, <clears throat> to adapt a game that was a ten out of ten in a, in a lot of people's heads and make a show that was damn near on par with that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and for how good it was, yeah, I want to give it like an eight point five. And it's insanely popular. I think it, it beat House of Dragons. Yeah. in terms of uh, like popularity and streams, I think at mm-hmm. towards, at at the end of everything. And we know House of Dragons was a big hit for them because, you know, 
Game of Thrones is a big mm-hmm. hit for them. So like the, for them, for uh, a seemingly out of nowhere thing, I mean, obviously we know it's not out of nowhere, but for like the yeah. middle American general public, it's an out of nowhere thing. Like, and it's like, oh wow, this show is really good. Mm-hmm. What the fuck's happening? Oh shit, they shooting. Oh shit, they dead. Oh and no. Oh shit, he killed all them niggas in the hospital. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it's over. But yeah. Um, Marlene dumped Ellie at Fedra. She didn't raise yeah. her. You right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did. Okay. Um. Like, I, ain't, I ain't raising no babies. I ain't no babysitter. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm a fucking apocalypse. This is my best friend kid, but I'm not going to raise her. She she needs to learn some discipline. Facts. Mm. Drop her off here. Who, bro? Um, <laughs> you said who, bro? Who, bro? <laughs> Bobby, what you get a season one out of ten? Um, like an 8.5. Yeah. I'll give it 8.5. Okay. Of, what was I going to say? I fucking told you niggas they wasn't going to kill Joel in season two. They wasn't? They wasn't. They going. What? They, yes, they, they, they are. No, nah, they are. No. Nah, but they are, but they're gonna make us love Joel even more. They're gonna give us like the season finale of killing Joel. So they know. so they wasn't gonna do it like mid season two. I'm not like he, that. I don't think he's making it that hard. I mean, just, <laughs> we'll see. I I think <laughs> cause you can't squander Pedro Pascal like that, I think. Right? So they're gonna make us so they made us love Joel. They made it they made Joel uh more soft. They made him like the parent figure for Ellie. Uh you know, we know what happens in game two. Joe doesn't die until maybe like two hours into the game or something like that. I think they're going to stretch that. Oh, if, that, if it happens they, that quick, I don't think they're going to stretch it. They have to They have to do a season finale with Joe. They can't they, kill they, Joe mid-season, season they, they two. They're killing him second episode. They cannot. <laughs> Third, they will right. not. Here's the thing. They have to do the guitar playing. They have to do Ellie's sexuality. They have to do the other kids. They have to introduce new characters. They have to do a bunch of shit. Abby, uh, the coalition she's with, whatever. That's going to take at least, if they do the same episodes that they did this season, that's going to take about six, seven episodes. They're going to kill in- Joel season finale or like... This- episode four. He's going to die. Like if there's 10 episodes, yeah, they're going to kill him eight or nine. Four. Nah. Abby's in the dark. Put money on it. I don't got none. Abby's in the dark. overtime you work. That's why I need, because I ain't got none. That's You're, why right. You're right. Abby's introduction is going to come after. So they're going to be like, oh shit, Joe died. And they're be like, who killed Joe? And then they're going to flash back to Abby's. And then they're going to show you why she killed Joe. And mm-hmm. that's going to be like the last of the season. And yeah. then they're going to, next season, going to be like Ellie's hunt for Abby's soul. And yeah. then, and then it's over. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be the season finale of season two, of season two though. And then season three is going to be the hunt for Abby and, and everybody she nah. with. So if 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 they, they have could, to make the killing of Joel dramatic, they, so it's gonna, it's gonna be dramatic regardless if he dies. Period. Like I don't. So I don't it think has to they be have a season ending thing though. Where it's like I don't I, think I, so. y'all niggas gonna wait for this drama. I don't think so. If we following, are you talking about gamers? Or are you talking about the casual fan in general? If we're following what they did in this first season, they adhere pretty strictly to what happened in the video game. Mm-hmm. So if Joel dies. In the first two hours of the video game, he, they're not gonna stretch that. This HBO. They're though. not gonna because if the if they do that, they run the risk of ruining the rest of the story of the game, like by trying to stretch this thing that isn't a thing that was stretched out. It's a thing that just it ends up happening. If they try to stress it out, that could end up making everything else that happens after weird. I think they're gonna just commit to what happened and do it. It might not happen in the first episode, but maybe by the third. Now, or, that's too early. The third not. episode of the season. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's not about him anymore. It's it's pain it's not for- about him. So what? It's not about him. Why well, they got to write a good fucking character arc for Ellie in these first couple episodes in order to get us on board with her? Yeah, or because they, they can't just thrust her in there as like, all right, this is the main character now because Joel dead. They got to actually write. They got to they got to put pen to pad. That's they got to write some shit. That's what they were doing on this season. Mm. And the, like the last couple of episodes were more Ellie focused than Joel, until I mean obviously until he went terminating on niggas, but like yeah. they had the Riley stuff, and then they had her trying to do all her stuff when, when Joel was incapacitated, like to like slowly like sh- shifting that view of like all right she mm-hmm. isn't just a, the ride along she's also a, a participant. So I'm sure they'll 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 work that out. I just don't think they're gonna stretch that because how do you stretch out something if there's, if the content's not there, easy. Because they have the creators there. They have some of the writers there from the game. They can easily stretch this out. They can easily I, I just do a bunch of backstory or whatever the fuck, and they can stretch this out for however long they need to. Or they're going to be brave and just do the real thing and just murk the lady. Nah, they ain't going to do that. They're going to kill him in the first 15 minutes of the first episode. If they do, they got a <laughs> long <laughs> season of writing shit. Yeah, if they did, that shit would be fucking fire. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. See, they're just going to do the brave thing. Because it just, to me, it seems like they just... Like they kill Joe and then like everything's a flashback from like, oh, the, the guitar and all maybe that. Maybe that. Shit. That too. Mm-hmm. 
but like i think i think they're about servicing the story and not the actor they want to tell the best story they can tell true so if that means he gotta die then then he, if he dies he dies hmm. that's what done do you think the actress that plays ellie can carry the show i do yeah i think she's good I, know, I, I know you're not she, convinced, it, but I think she's good. I think she's good enough to carry the show as well. What do you mean carry the show? I mean carry the show like as far as can she be like the front and center? She's, yeah, that front and center that force now. that Pedro Pascal was where can she like, you know, give the raw emotion? Can she give the action? Can she give like, you know, can we focus on her throughout the whole show and just be like, all right, we don't. It's kind of hard for me to, and it's also a different show at that point too, to a certain yeah. extent, right? Because doesn't because mm-hmm. doesn't that dynamic change? And because again, I didn't play the second game, so I'm not sure. But it's a different story, so she does not necessarily have to do the same things that Pedro Pascal was doing because mm-hmm. it's not the same story. She's not game, she's not she's prote- more humans. Actually, yeah, she's not a it's protector, not right? Cordyceps and shit. Yeah, she's not a protector, right? No. Pedro Pascal was a protector. He's trying to keep this girl safe. He, he's not. It's not about her growing to fall in love, to learn to love this thing that she's just taking from point A to point B. Like it's a different story. This is a story of of revenge and vengeance and and fury. Like that's that's a different. It's a different. But you story. killed my father figure. Yeah, but it's not the same thing. Like it's the the the, the first season is about until this is with Joe. Is like he he's, sees this little girl as his daughter, daughter. again yeah, yeah like the the growth of him changing to a person the second game is about vengeance and yeah. revenge and fury it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. love but in a, it's love in a different way like that's what i'm saying they're both about love but stab, love stab. yeah exactly so <laughs> so it, it requires different things so rochambeau stab. <laughs> rochambeau <laughs> otter box <laughs> I pray whoever is picked to play Abby has the resolve of a monk because they're about to head face first into the shit storm mm-hmm. of hate when she pulls out the yeah mm-hmm. when not yeah. Um, would you take that job if you were a young aspiring white actress? Is the money good? <laughs> don't yes. mean, it don't mean nothing. Yes, when, when, the answer that's not even you, a hard question. Yeah, that's a yes. You saying that from a thirty-seven year old black man that's been here without the internet? I'm talking about a twenty-five to, let's say early twenties to mid twenties white woman that's grown up with the internet, and you got the job of killing one of the most beloved characters in fucking television history at this point. The answer is still yes. What about what's, what's that Asian lady from uh, Star Wars? Uh, that got all that uh, backlash. Yeah, Tran, and she couldn't handle that shit, and she buckled. That's different. How? We humans. She didn't, she didn't know that was going to happen. And just like this lady that plays Abby is not, didn't know this was going to happen. Well, right? yeah. If they, they was upset that shit was, but that happened in the game. It's, it's kind of uh, like wow. a poor side of That was a this, big thing in the game. Yeah, I'm still going to say yeah, because if, if you're an actor and you your whole dream is to act and be on a TV show or in the movies and you get a chance to be in but, a wildly popular TV show and or a movie, yes, I'm going to do this. But we know it's some people that play certain roles in TVs and movies that we see as them characters forever and we hate them niggas. Uh, but no matter what role they play, we hate them motherfuckers. Well, I guess it depends on how well they humanize Like the nigga that, st- that starts to fight in fucking uh, Drumline, the fat nigga, uh-huh. everybody hates him. Hate no matter no matter what role he play. <laughs> I mean, I still hate Joffrey. Joffrey. Even when niggas I still him. hate Joffrey. When, when, whenever they see Joffrey, they hate him. Every time I watch Batman, I want him, I want him to die. Fuck him. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, listen, yeah, take it. Your money and its exposure, so do it. <laughs> mm. I guess. I just got what you said. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, <laughs> he saw you watch. He was, he was in it. He was in Batman he Begins. He's a kid, don't he? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> fuck them kids. Damn, he people hate Batman. Batman drop, drop him, Batman. He was playing with Hot Wheels. He drop like, him, Batman. Die. Drop him. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. Drop him. You're not Ben Hesh. You're not Ben that was Commissioner Gordon's son. Yeah. Was it Commissioner like, Gordon's son? Yeah. Oh, I, I th- think so. I, I thought he was just a random I kid that he so. saved. I, I can't remember. You, you might be right. I thought he was just a random kid he saved. <laughs> Drop him. You <laughs> might be Shoot right. him in the face. Oh, shit, my bad. You might Butterfingers. Right, but God, Butterfingers. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you might be right about yeah. that, but shit. I know he was in that movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drop him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what else from Last of Us? What else from this season? Uh, 
Um, I, I kind of wish it was more uh, clickers and shit. Yeah, that's it's like yeah. a lack of those. Antonio said that. He said, I wish they, the show had more zombies. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a lack of it. I get it, though, because, like, you see more of them in the game because it's a game, and you got to make the, the player feel enthralled in the story and, mm-hmm. like, uh, you're doing stuff. But in, in, a, in a TV show, it could end up just being mindless action that doesn't help drive the story as much but a, a few I more would have helped fear of clickers kind of drove the game a little bit too where it was like yeah. i play games i know what game logic is i know something might pop around this coin exactly. it was like it was a lot of just sneaking around motherfuckers yeah. you know it was storyline it was you know a lot of plot points there was a lot of emotions felt yeah even mm. with the bill shit i didn't see a clicker no, no, there was no clicker in that episode. Nah, it was very few. The, the, it's all Raiders. It was first episode, not even first episode, really. Second episode, um, then the, the, the town, when they, when they all came out of the ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that was really about it. Yo, yeah. Chris Doris, you got chilled, though. He said, y'all see Black China looking human lately? <laughs> she was a couple surgeries away from looking like a clicker. Jesus. Crazy. Yeah, I'm going to just. Nah. Leave that alone. Just leave it alone. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> that bitch did it like a bloater for a second. Like she was a. She, uh, she I was, can't never like. Hmm? This is a tangent, as always. I can't never have nobody ever talk about Black China, and then not think about that shit Bobby said. Oh. The, <laughs> oh. <that's laughs> it. it was Ever, true though. I know, but what it's just, true, no, we don't gotta talk about it like that. Okay. But wait, when she was. Nothing. Yeah, the dick was shaped like a letter Z, nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time. How was you was, sucking that dick? I, 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 he said, I know that shit got hurt or whatever the fuck he said. That shit was like that elder ring finger. That's uh, what uh, <laughs> It's just, it's just like, I just, it's just Bobby's voice in the back of my head. It's like, I was like, yo, why? Nah, Paul, that dick was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that shit looks crazy. Because I was looking at that shit, I was like, am I the only one who sees this? Like, like women like a hook, that shit was like. Nah, uh, that shit. It's Captain Hook, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and then at one point, she was like, oh, it hurt. Oh, yeah. Like, that's of course what, it does. That's what he said, yeah. Of course, of course it, it does. does. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not yeah. supposed to hit that, bitch. That's your fucking, uh, what's that shit? Appendix. No. <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> Gallbladder. Oh, nah, it's God. like the, the top of your uterine. It's like some way up here. Mm. With it. It's like past like the uterus. It's like <laughs> something. Oh, my <laughs> I don't God. know if you feel anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, oh, my God. One to ten. What we give this fucking show? Eight. Oh, we, what, yeah, we did yeah, that. Eight point five. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.